Early to rise, but not early to depart for NJIT men's soccer as they boarded the bus for an off-campus training camp near Lake George. Bus has a flat tire. It is what it is. Things happen. Hey, listen. Listen up. We're going to get going here. The idea here in this bus is to rest. All right? So, you know, we prefer you guys take a nap, all right? And, uh, and that's it, and we'll get there and we'll get going. With an influx of 14 newcomers, this year's camp would be especially important to build chemistry and acclimate players to Coach Fernando Barbodo's system. High intensity environment will bring out the best in the player, um, and that ultimately helps our team become better. Preseason is about getting to know the team, getting to know each other's habits and whatnot and kind of get into love what coach wants us to do and go from there. Anything less than a ring is a, is a, a disappointment. We're going for the championship and uh, we want to go to the NCAA tournament. I feel like uh, that's the best team I've ever had at NJIT. So I have very, very high expectations. The team arrived at Golden Goal in Fort Ann, New York, one of the top training facilities in the Northeast. And they seemed ready to dig in and improve on last year's mark of eight victories overall, three in Atlantic Sun play. All right, we're, we're together for five days full, all right? Um, I'm sure on that fifth day, we'll be kind of sick of each other, all right? But, uh, but for now, it's fresh and it's new, all right? If we're gonna battle for each other, you know, that, that, that's important. I think the second piece is know each other as players. And the last thing is, you gotta show, man. All right, we're here to get to know each other, but know that individually, every one of you got a show. All right, boys. All right, let's do it, man. Come on. Day two, day two. Nice and loud. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. I think we were a little tired, uh, even though you know we were on the bus for four hours, a little longer than we uh, needed to be with the two-hour delay. Yeah, tired. No standing still. No standing still. Hey, it's three new guys every time. You have to time it, time it, time it. You see the players about to receive the ball. You start accelerating, and then you knife fit, and you're not offside. Freeze, 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 freeze. Guys, what I'm not going to tolerate, soft passes. Strike the ball like you mean it. All right? Hit the ball. It's easy not to work hard because of, you've had success. So I, I, I think... I think that's something that we preach every day is we got to get back to work, you know, win or lose. Good, good pass, Nino. But the guy that's supposed to receive the ball has to communicate. You have to be animated. You got to want the ball because if you want the ball, you're going to want to score. But if you're shy, you're just kind of like, you're not going to get the ball, and you're definitely not going to score. All right? Come on, guys. You know what that is? Passion. If you want the ball, ask for it. If you want to score, you got to get the ball. And I always tend to think if you love and you have passion for something, that, you know, what comes with that is discipline. And, and if you have discipline, you're going to respect the game, and you're not going to take it for granted. He's definitely made our program a lot better and uh, a lot more competitive. He really loves what he's doing, and um, he gets into you. At some point, he gets into you until like, yeah, he really cares about it. I should care about it as well. Me being demanding, me being very intense with them, um, you know, it's gonna help, it's definitely gonna help us in the game. It's gonna help them in the season. It's gonna help them in their four-year career. And I think it's gonna help them to be ultra prepared for real life. He knows what he's talking about, and he knows how to enforce it. Concentrate, communicate. It's all right, next one, next one. That's what we need to work on. Weighing our passes, communicating, talking. Good. No! Pass and move. But the idea is to, is to work, you know, 100, you know, at 100% speed, all right? If you play it short, if you play it short, the defender's gonna get it, no matter what. But if you play it too deep, 
we have a chance of getting it because our player's running in that direction. Whereas the defender is like reacting, have to, he's not going to get there first. Okay? Don't be afraid to dump it. That's why I opened it up more. Hit a bigger ball with a lot of pace. Ready? Hey. Clean. Clean. Take a touch. Finish. All right, boys. Get some water. With two practices every day, the team needed to hit the ice baths and help muscle recovery. Talk about bonding. Family. I-G, John Maybay. Maybay, well, that's M-Y. B-Y. W-A-D. W-A-D, don't forget. Oh, yeah. oh that one. It was like, yo, do that. It's really going to be like a close-knit family this year. Hi, everyone. I'm uh, Mamadou Garassi. I'm here with Frank and Koksu and uh, Paulinho Marquez. And I got a couple questions for you guys. Um, Frank, what do you like the most about Golden Goal? What do I like the most about Golden Go? Um, I'd probably say the facilities, the training facilities are pretty nice. I want to give a shout out to Furkan because uh, I give him a lot of credit for uh, just being on the team because, you know, we make a lot of fun of him. And, uh, but, yeah, we love Furkan. Furkan, who's the funniest guy on the team? I'd have to say Polino, to be honest, man. If you, if you hear some of his jokes, phew, there's some jokes you would never hear in your life. Paulino is corny. His jokes are just terrible. You got a joke for us, please? <laughs> No, I can't. Uh, I'll say one. I'll say one. Um, how many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? Tentacles. <laughs> this guy's not funny. <laughs> this guy's not funny. Uh, which, which teammates drives you nuts? Uh, for me, it would be John on Yaka. <laughs> The guy, man, the guy will never forget a single thing you do. You could have done this stuff uh, like a year or two ago and he'll still bring it up today and won't forget it like just as, just as if it was yesterday. <laughs> he'll never forget. Paulino, you better not say my name. <laughs> uh, the person that drives me nuts is Mamadou Garassi. Why? <laughs> <laughs> um, he's always busting my chops. And uh, I mean, it's all good and fun, but you know, sometimes uh, we got to get in there and make fun of each other to have a good time. Yeah, you know I love you, bro. <laughs> On the way back from Golden Goal, NJIT stopped at West Point for an exhibition with the Black Knights. It's going to be very, very intense game. Let's put in the work right now. Let's go. Let's do it. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ready? One, two, three. Ready? From the outset, it was clear that both teams wanted to win, badly. Senior Mamadou Garassi was knocked down and converted a penalty kick to give NJIT the lead. But Army countered with a pretty header to tie it up. They want to play frantic, we don't, all right? We want to play calm and controlled and explosive in our counterattack. Are we clear? Yeah. All right, let's go, let's get out there. That's a foul, man. That's a clear darn foul. Listen, we, we, hey, we, we need those peeling out runs in, in behind. Keep stretching them out. They struggle with that. With time winding down, the Highlanders realized you gotta go to Mo. Mamadou Garassi came through again, this time from 20 yards out, and NJIT held on for a hard-fought 2-1 victory. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's get it. I thought, I thought our guys showed a lot of determination, guts. They didn't, they didn't quit. We were, shoot, we're shooting for very good to great. We were good today. On our next episode of Rise Up, we'll look at the international makeup of this year's men's team and begin regular season play. In terms of international, I've, I've had a lot of success with players from Spain. I think they f tend to fit my, my philosophy really well. It seems like Barbodo likes like, the Spanish way to play, so he's trying to bring like, the European game to America. Hey, I can't read la boca!